Howdy there folks, this is Legion Italia with EVF Custom, a division of VF Cattle Company. I'm going to show you today these custom one piece fence buddies. I'm dubbing the Pedro device after my great uncle Bill Pedro, who I don't know if he pioneered this technique but he definitely uh, let it be known in my part of the world. So I'll sh show you how it works here. I'll uh, take it apart and I'll show you how you install it. This is just a standard S-Wing 28 ounce demolition hammer E20, E328. So I'll take it apart here and I'll show you how it works. So here we have the unit dismounted from the hammer. This is like I said a standard hammer painted black for demonstration purposes. But it fits on there like a collar. The large side goes to the inside and it attaches with a single uh, Allen key. Just slides on. Uh, you can uh, index it to wherever you'd like, but it's set up to be indexed at the 12 o'clock with the Allen key. So once you have it in place, you tighten the Allen key. No need to over tighten it because it's really not under tension. You just want to make sure that it doesn't slide off this way. Once that's attached, you're ready to go. And I will cut now and I'll show you how you can use this to tension any fence, any wire fence. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use the Pedro device now, and uh, you'll usually find a loose piece of wire like this on your fence, or it might even be broken to the point where you can't uh, tie them together. There's not enough slack to tie them together. So that's where this comes in handy. You can see here that there's no way to get those back together, but if you just throw a loop on each side, like so, on this side like so put in your piece of smooth wire so there you've got that now what you need to do is measure about uh, 8 to 12 inches past where your loop is and you're just going to cut that off maybe give a little more put the end of your loop to your thing and that gets you basically where you want to go So you just slide your loop through your hammer. Spin your hammer onto the wire. Always want to make sure to keep that end of the wire out of your face. And on the other side of the wire. And as you turn, you'll tighten the wire. And it will spin around the head of the hammer. And now you can see you're getting really tight. And now you can pull this wire so tight that you can break the fence post. <clears throat> and you can see here it's spooling on there very nicely. And it's caught in the hammer. So now to untension it, you give it a little more and you roll it back on itself. This. As you can see this pinch will hold the tension on the wire. It's best to keep your hand on it like this when you're unrolling it to keep the wire from slipping. And then once you have it unrolled, you slide your hammer off. Give it a couple wraps. And there's your patch. Come back and trim the wire. And as you see, That's how it's done.
So, go back inside and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And so now you may wonder how you can get your own Pedro device that can tension a line of barbed wire in less than three minutes. Well, you can contact me through the business info link that's available through the website on PEC. And I'd like just to let you know these are custom made one at a time from a solid piece of 6061 billet. So it takes me a little bit of time to get them made. So what will be included in the package will be an S-Wing E328 hammer as well as an Allen key to detach the Pedro device as well as the Pedro device and these I noticed that they're a little bit different they're not made to a standard specifications they're just made to knock down the uh, the casting uh, uh, flaws so they'll be indexed and you'll get the hammer and they'll be painted light blue by default because that I found that that's a really good color to see when it's on the ground but if you have a different color, that's not, not a problem. I can airbrush it or spray paint it as you desire. Um, so, uh, like I said, the uh, information is available through the, the business contact, through the website on a PC. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this little lesson on how to tension a barbed wire fence or really any other smooth wire or wire fence. This can also be used for hog wire if you tension one wire at a time. Usually you just tension the top and middle and bottom wire and then uh, just tie the other wires together. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'm going to leave a, another less well shot version of the process on how to use the device at the end of the video. So if you, I kind of went fast on the first one. So if you miss something and you want to see it slower, I'll leave it on the second one. And if you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to put them down below. So, thanks you for watching, and I'll see you next time. So here we have your typical break in a piece of fence line. You cannot, there's not going to be any way to get these two ends together, nor is there going to be any way to tension it. So, what we need to do first is put loops in both ends. So you just hold her back, and we'll put a loop on this side, and I'll show you that completed. We'll put the same loop on the other side. So here we have a loop prepared, same on the other side. And so what we'll do is we'll make another loop with our spare piece of wire out of our roll, our handy roll. And we'll attach it to this end, we'll leave the other end open. So here we have our end tied. We're going to want to keep the loop out, but it's really not going to matter because we're going to put so much force on here that it could, you could pull this whole fence over. So we left this end, so we have our measurement from our new loop over here. And so we don't need too much past that, but just a little bit. So we'll cut it off uh, right about right about here. So see your loop, give yourself about 8 to 10 inches extra. So now you have your loop cut. You're going to push it through the, the loose end that you cut off. You're going to push that through this open loop and then kind of pull it taut. Now is where the hammer comes in. So now we've slid the wire down through the hole so that when we crank on it, it will tighten the fence. And all you really have to do is pivot this now over and start winding it. And you're gonna wind in the direction that it's gonna tighten. And you just keep on winding it. It will find its groove. That's kind of the beauty of this system. It'll find its groove. And you just keep cranking it. You're gonna to wanna to make sure to keep the line clear because it will pull out any staples most of the time, but you never know. So you just keep pulling her until you've got it tightened. And for this particular fence, this is just a sample piece, so I'm not going to tighten it too tight, but you can see there how it's pulling through. And I can tighten it as much as I want by levering this handle around. So no matter how tight I go, it won't, it won't slip. This piece on the top will not slip because all it's doing is holding that wire in place. <coughs> So to untension this, I wish I had a second person here, you just roll this hammer back on itself like this. And if all has gone well, you should have a crimp there that will hold itself until you can unwind this from the hammer. With two hands, you usually hold it right there at the crimp. Once you have the hammer unwound, it's just a matter of sliding the wire off the end, comes off cleanly, and you wrap this around.
using pliers to hold it preferably you wrap that around and that's that is a patch strong enough to hold anything and this will work with any kind or gauge of smooth wire as long as it will fit through the hole in there and you can see it's a judicial a, judi a judicious hole so you can fit a large wire in there so that's how you do it and that will tension that wire so tight that uh, it'll bend fence posts over.